the story of Christmas is a story of love. It was light and angels that gave guidance to those blessed to be a part of those transcendent events. Fear not, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which shall be to all people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, which is Christ the Lord. And this shall be a sign unto you. You shall find the babe wrapped in swaddling clothes, lying in a manger. One of the most beautiful symbols of the birth of Jesus Christ into this world is light. The appearance of the long-promised Messiah brought light to a darkened world. Therefore, the Lord himself shall give you a sign. Behold, a virgin shall conceive and bear a son, and shall call his name Emmanuel. Mary and Joseph brought the baby Jesus to the temple. Simon knew through the power of the Holy Ghost that this was indeed the Christ, the Son of the Most High. Let this be a time of remembrance, of gratitude, and a time of forgiveness. Let it be a time to ponder the atonement of Jesus Christ and its meaning for each of us personally. We, like the wise man of old, should seek the Christ and lay before him the most precious of gifts, a broken heart and a contrite spirit. wondrous gift is given, so God imparts to human hearts the blessings of his heaven. No ear may hear his coming, but in the world of sin, where meek souls will receive him still, the dear Christ enters in. The Savior gave freely to all, and his gifts were of value beyond measure. Throughout his ministry, he blessed the sick, restored sight to the blind, made the deaf to hear, and the halt and the lame to walk. He gave cleanliness to the unclean. He restored breath to the lifeless. He gave hope to the despairing, and bestowed light in the darkness. Because he came, we know how to reach out to those in trouble or distress, wherever they may be. Because he came and paid for our sins, we have the opportunity to gain eternal life. The spirit of Christmas is the spirit of love and of generosity and of goodness. May his precious spirit be with us and may he ever be the center of our celebrations. With the pure love of Christ, let us walk in his footsteps as we approach the season celebrating his birth. As we do so, let us remember that he still lives and continues to be the light of the world.